good morning guys it's another day at a lighted path ranch let's get these animal chores out of the way and get to working on a construction project what you say grandma she's happy to be here yep that's a little weak needs a little bit more water okay it's ran over enough now to throw a little corn out on the ground for these few chickens Yep, now Eli can't say I didn't help do anything. What do you think, donkey? Did I do a good job? Huh? Did I do a good job? He always approves. All right, guys, we're back at the intern cabin. I'm gonna start working on covering the walls today. Let's go inside and get set up. So we're getting set up here and getting things going and we're putting up the no lap ship lap on what'll be the bedroom wall. As you see right now, we were working off the ground, which is a no-no. And finally, I got smart and got the bench and got up a little more ergonomic for us, save her back a little bit. As you can see, we worked up this wall and forgot to tilt the camera up where you could see what we were doing. But when we come back from lunch, you'll be able to get a better view of where we're cutting the angles for the ceiling there this bedroom i have interior walls and a door like a normal bedroom and it'll have a flat ceiling and it'll be a little small storage loft up above it maybe put another little twin mattress up there in the ladder I'm not sure but so there'll be ceiling joists going across and right here as you see we'll go up we're gonna break this wall over the door and we're not gonna go any higher than we have to because we don't want to cover this whole front wall we want our goal was to cover this bedroom enough that we could frame the interior wall and have that room separate. So we're trying to break our, like right here, this back wall, you'll see we're breaking the straight line up the wall. And that's fine because there'll be a wall there and the bathroom will be adjacent to it. In the bathroom will have drywall, so it won't have the wood to be able to mold and mildew from the moisture. So, so there's not gonna be a joint seam. All right, just to add to that so it'll be a little easier to understand, this is the bedroom walls behind me back here. And some people are gonna wonder why we didn't go ahead and just frame the interior walls and then cover all the walls. Well, if we put a wall across here, it's a small space and we'd be coming in and out with these 10 foot boards and trying to turn a corner with them and it would just make the day longer than it needed to be. So what we did was get around that by not putting in the wall yet. We also saved on framing right here. There would have been, in the exterior wall, there would have been two more studs in there with blocking in that have been harder to insulate behind. They'd get a good seal of insulation in there because we'd had to have a T to tie our wall into. Well, this wood right here actually goes through behind that wall. So our stud, are actually corner stud, are actually attached and screwed to this, this, this ship lap right here, which is thick and sturdy on its own. Plus, we got the top plate and the bottom plate to secure it, and it's non-structural other than this little ceiling. It's not a lot of load on it, is what I'm saying. And then another reason why we didn't just run shiplap all the way down, this bathroom, I had a little section through here to just this side of the window. There's going to be a bathroom right in here somewhere, and it is drywall, so there's no reason to run shiplap out there, and you'd be covering it up or shimming out, and so and save money. we got to be good stewards of what God gave us. That's the the key to things around here so, so a lot of times that makes what makes the most fiscal sense is the the way to go like down here we got some scrap pieces of plywood and osp we're gonna cover it this is all kitchen area down here It'll be a 12 foot countertop across here well behind those cabinets and the backsplash backsplash needs to be a sanded surface to put to stick it to so up there to the top of the top cabinets won't need ship lap either. If there's anything exposed, we'll just go back and put it over the plywood. And then above the cabinets, I'll be ship lap. But I might as well use that plywood behind there. It's cheaper and it'll never be seen and that's the way to be a good steward about it. Same thing over here. We didn't want to go ahead today all the way down through here just so we can put this interior wall in. So we'll have one little short joint right here that the trim won't cover, but it's breaking 16 off of that one. So it ain't, it ain't ideal, but it's good enough. Nobody ever know when it's all said and done. 
And then we could put this interior wall in, which is our electrical panel goes inside this bedroom interior wall. So that gives us the option to go ahead and install in the panel and get power in here. They, uh, there's some plumbing and a water heater that attaches in this wall. So it gives us, gives us more options on what to work on next because we always go with the flow with what materials the Lord provides. It's not always what, what, if I was being paid to do this by a customer, it's not always the way I would go the way I do things around here. I kind of go with the flow where the materials are provided and, and use the materials that are provided. Got to be good stewards. Anyway, thank you. All right, guys. It's time to end today's video. Me and Miss Charlie out on a nature walk. It's our best time of the year here for that. The leaves are falling and starting to cool off. Things start to look better around here. So we're going to enjoy the evening. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And just as always, God gets the glory for all the good in my life. And remind you, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. See you next time.